Hello, YouTubers. Focus R is back again. Uh, I was going to show a body that I had. Kind of got me a... Uh, Chuck's Hobby Spot. Kind of got me looking for this uh, body I've had for years. It's the old uh, Cazilla, a resin body. Uh, he was talking about a resin body from uh, Joel. And uh, I comment on his... Uh, this video that I had one. This thing is so dark from uh, all the years that I've had it sitting out. It's almost like a real dark mustard, yellow brown. Yeah, I, I think I got this way back in the nineties, and uh, I was gonna do a full custom build on it, but it just got put back in a back burner and when I started getting noticed in the uh, model shows out here in Phoenix blowing people away with my designs and getting my cars on the front cover of a magazine then uh, 2005 came and my dad passed and I walked away from the hobby for about 10 years and uh, got back into it 10 years later I think I left the hobby back in 2000, mid-2005, almost 2006. I built on and off every model kit that I collected over the years. Uh, I opened up, built, cut old kits from the 70s, 80s. Uh, nothing got stashed away. My old stash got built. Uh, from the shows that I was going to in the 90s, between me and my brother, we would always take about 16, 16 to 20 models to each show every year, opening up old kits and building my own. So when, uh, when I got back into the hobby, probably like the third or fourth uh, body that I built when I got back into the hobby, well, it's this one here. I did a 112 scale of it. I was going to do a full custom build using the uh, 57 Chevy chassis to fit this uh, 112 scale. And here it is. I did a video of this uh, probably five years ago, six years ago. I did a full uh, video of the build. I kind of built it the same way. I changed up a couple things. Separating the one-piece window to a two-piece side window. And I rounded the front nose just a little bit. I didn't want that flat nose look. So I gave the uh, headlights kind of a curve down. Cut open the, the hood. I was going to cut open the trunk lid. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. And that's where it sat. It got put away for all these years. So now I'll probably break out with the uh, chassis and stretch it. Of course, the rear tire is going to be hidden. Uh, still, I might open one door. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, I was going to do this on the last video to show uh, Chuck's hobby spot of my 112 scale of the Cadzilla. Anyways, just a quick video of the 112 scale Cadzilla. Still a lot of old projects. Just like that uh, 112 scale 55. I got put on the back burner. And all of them down there. 
So all my whole stash from back in the days, they all got built, cut open. They all went underneath the knife and scissor and hacksaw blades and sandpaper and bondo. Anyway, it's just a quick uh, video that I was going to post up this body on the last video. It just got carried away and still at my hobby bench. Adding more tubing to the uh, to the Ford Pinto. Mocking up the rear suspension, front suspension, and uh, I'll start doing the uh, subframe for the Vega and start building the roll cage. Anyways, y'all have a good good evening, good morning, happy Father's Day. Y'all have a good week. It's going to be a hot one tomorrow out here in Glendale. I say we hit about 110 to 112 tomorrow. Y'all stay cool. We're going to try to stay cool out here in this desert heat. Happy morning, everybody.